This post walks you through a typical mechanical PE exam question in the category of fluids, and specifically on calculating net positive suction head available. So first, the problem. A cooling tower is located such that the fluid level in the basin is 10 feet above the center line for the suction of the condenser water pump. The water is at an average temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The friction loss from the cooling tower basis to this to the suction of the pump is approximately 15 feet of hand. What is the net positive suction head available at the suction side of the pump with a flow rate of 400 GPM? Is it A, 12.6 feet of head, B, 17.6, C, 27.6, or D, 30.1? The professional engineer must be able to properly determine net positive suction head in order to avoid cavitation. Cavitation occurs when the suction pressure or head pressure at the pump is less than the vapor pressure of the water. For more information, please refer to the website. Net positive suction head available is found by determining all the pressures acting upon the fluid, whether positive or negative. This figure describes all the pressures that be acting upon the pump for an open system like a cooling tower system. First term, P absolute. This pressure refers to the absolute pressure acting on the fluid. If the tank is pressurized, then the val value is predetermined. If the tank is open to the atmosphere, as it is in our problem, then the pressure is equal to 1 atmosphere, or 33.9 feet of water head at sea level. Second term, P elevation. This pressure identifies the elevation difference between the top surface of the liquid and the pump center line. This value can be positive or negative and is measured in feet of head. The third term, P friction. The friction pressure ahead is the amount of pressure lost due to friction in the piping, fittings, equipment, valves, etc. leading from the fluid source to the pump. Now we can apply this figure to our problem to calculate net positive suction head available. MPSHA is equal to the head pressure, which is simply sea level or 33.9 feet of head, plus our elevation difference, which was given to us as 10 feet of head, minus our friction loss, which was given as 15 feet of head, and minus our vapor pressure, which is shown as we find the value that corresponds with 86 degrees Fahrenheit as 1.42 feet of head. So plugging in our numbers, here's our work, and we end up with a final answer of 27.6 feet of head, or C, as our final answer. For more information and practice problems, refer to the website.